Hey, y'all. I'm having a poor connection. Hey, y'all. Hey, is it going to work for me? Is the devil trying to have his way? Not today. All right, there we go. We got some people on live. Hey, you guys. It is your girl, Coach Kelly J, the coach's coach. I teach the people that reach the people. But listen, today we're not talking about coaching necessarily, kind of, but not really. Today, I want to take a moment to talk to you guys about my health and fitness journey. It has been, um, it's been quite a journey. I've been yo-yo dieting for years. I have been, um, and this isn't even on my notes that I took. Where's all this coming from? It's just coming from my heart. It's the truth. I have been dieting for years. My, our youngest son is 13. And I've been talking about baby weight for 13 years, y'all. Ridiculous. Just to hear myself say that right now is just like ridiculous. Let me, um, man, I wanted to pin my comment, but I don't think I have it. All right. And let me just put health and fitness. Hmm. One second. Fitness journey and then i'm going to pin that there we go so i am going to okay somebody said my baby weighs 27 years old okay so it became time so i want to share with you seven things seven things that i've learned in the past two months of my health and fitness journey um, if you saw my picture that i posted this morning you can see i am significantly um, thinner than I was. I'm less, um, fluffy. I just look, I just look, I just look completely different. Um, I took the pictures from several different angles so you could see, and I'm just like, I did that. And I still have quite a few pounds to go, but I'm so very proud of myself. And as I post my pictures of my my journey along the way, um, I get a lot of questions on DM. So I'm like, let me just come on live and share the seven things that I've learned. Now, let me give you a disclaimer. I am not a health and fitness coach. I can tell you about my health and fitness coach, um, but and I will, but um, but I'm not a health, health and fitness coach. I'm just in it doing it. So if this is something that you want to, to do to take back control of your 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 health and your fitness, um, I'll give you her information in just a little bit, okay? But number one, and these are in no order of importance. I just wrote them down as notes right before this to um, to just share. So number one thing that I've learned is, oh my goodness, it's not just about what you eat and how much of it you eat and how much you exercise. And for my entire time of trying to lose weight over the past several years, over a decade, I thought it was as simple as eat less and exercise more, eat less, move more. But it really isn't. It's really paying attention to what you eat and, and what is the amount of sugar in it. We'll get more into that in a little bit, but how much sugar is in what you are eating because that sugar is going in your bloodstream. And when all that sugar is in your bloodstream, it's not allowing you, among other things, diseases and whatnot, it's not allowing you to, to, um, to go into the fat burning zone, okay? So it's not just about what you eat and the exercise. Number two, second thing that I've learned is, fruit is cool, but it is not your best friend because it still has sugar. Now, is it better than sugar, sugar, you know, straight up five pound bag sugar situation? Yes, but it's to your body. It's still sugar. So it's still going in your bloodstream as sugar, right? So three, two, and three. It's telling me I have a poor connection. So I moved it a little bit. So number three is the importance of knowing your blood sugar levels. So let me put one, two, and three together. Somebody says, Lord, I have a smoothie every morning. I, I bought into the trap. Here's the thing. Number one was not just about what you eat, how much you eat, and exercise. Two was 
cool uh fruit is cool but it is not your best friend and then three was the importance of blood sugar level so let me put all those together when you eat fruit um there's it the sugar from it enters into your bloodstream now i'm not sure that i'm using this terminology right but i'm just telling you it enters into your bloodstream and when it does that that means your body's got to do all the things to um to balance yourself and when you have high blood sugar high sugar amount in your blood not only are you not burning fat but you are making yourself more susceptible to certain diseases diabetes being one of them now my coach Ro Rochelle T Parks and I I mean I um I tagged her in the post before this one so you can look on my Instagram feed and see her information. But she um, she helped me to understand what blood sugar levels are normally. And a lot of the people that she helps are either diabetic or pre-diabetic, meaning their, their numbers are elevated and whatnot for their blood sugar. So in her in her programs and such, and you can just follow her on Instagram, but in her program, she shows you how to bring your blood sugar levels down. And that in turn has you go into your fat burning zone. So a lot of the people that come to her, they're, they know that they knew, need to lose weight. But a lot of them are in that high blood pressure, um, unhealthy zone. I wasn't on any kind of medications or anything like that. But as I get older, I was definitely headed in that direction. I didn't have high blood pressure. Um, I was definitely overweight, still overweight by numbers, but I didn't have high blood pressure. I didn't have diabetes. I wasn't pre-diabetic, but I was headed in that direction if I didn't stop eating what, the way I was eating, not exercising as often as I should and all the things, okay? So number three was the importance of knowing your blood sugar levels. If you're out here and you're on all types of medication or if you're not on any kind of medication at all, but you know you don't feel good and you know you're overweight, if you can reduce the amount of sugar, even in fruit, that you are intaking on a daily basis and the time that you are taking it, having it, ingesting it, consuming it, it will change the game for you. Now, I can have fruit, absolutely, but not past 12 o'clock and not before 10 o'clock. So I can have fruit, but it's only in that two-hour window because I need to give myself, my, my body time to work off that, that sugar that I have taken in. And very important, I didn't know this either. When you eat fruit, you should never eat the fruit by itself. I have never heard this information before. So I feel like I have like on a, a whole new lens, whole new glasses on what to, how to eat. And the even the order in which to eat is not just what to eat. It's never eat fruit. I can, I never eat fruit by itself anymore. When I eat it, it's got to be paired with a veggie and you need to eat that veggie first and then eat the fruit. Because if you eat the fruit first, it's going into your bloodstream first. Pair it with the veggie, eat the veggie before that. Okay? It's a, it's a whole situation. But I know that she is um, having a challenge coming up. I think the wait list is open right now. So if you want more information, you can go over to... Um, what is it? I wrote it down. I think it's... I think it is Optimal Health Challenge. Where did I put it? Just go to Rochelle T. Parks. No, I think I have it right here. Yes, OptimalHealthChallenge.com. OptimalHealthChallenge.com. She is having a challenge next month all about it. And uh, it, there's, there's, there's no tickets on sale right now. There's just a waiting list. But I cannot believe. How many of y'all didn't know that? Did not know that you should not eat fruit by itself because the sugar in it is going directly in your bloodstream. I had no idea. Complete game changer. And I love fruit. I would think, hey, 
If I want a snack late at night and I don't want to grab a bag of chips, I can just eat an apple. Did not know it was working against me. Had no idea. All right, I see you guys didn't know that. Did not know that. Right. So you eat the apple at 10 o'clock at night thinking that you're doing better than the chips. And I'm sure in some regard it is better than the potato chips that you really want to eat or the ice cream that you really want to eat. But the sugar is going straight into your bloodstreams, which is elevating your blood sugar levels. I'm like, what? So number, um, number three was the importance of knowing your blood sugar levels. Number four is having an eating window. My eating window is 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I have no business eating anything after 6 p.m. because my body is finished for the day. Okay, somebody said, you schooled me today. Listen, get on the wait list for that challenge. She will get you all the way together. She will get you all the way together. I think it's, I think her challenge is five, yes, yeah, five days. But you will learn so much about the cells and how the cells, the cells work and such. But the eating window is you have no business eating after six o'clock. Your body is already done with what it's supposed to be doing as far as food at that point. So when you put food in after six o'clock. It's like, oh, you you want me to you want me to work again? I was over here doing something else. I was already working on the food that you ate all day, but now you want to put something in the mix at nine o'clock. So it has to stop what it was already doing. Does this make sense, you guys? It has to stop what it was already doing and try to figure out now you want me to do this right here. And I was already over here working on the food that you that you ate earlier in the day. Right. But then you want to put something at nine o'clock. So your body's like, well, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to work on the food that you ate at three o'clock or you want me to work on the food that you just ate at nine o'clock that you had no business eating? Which one is it? Which one is it? There she is right there. I should bring her on live. Y'all Y'all want me to bring her on live. I don't even know if she can come on live, but let me get through these. Rochelle, Coach Rochelle, she is my health motivator and she got me all the way together. We're on our way. We're not finished yet. I got about I got about 30 more pounds to lose. And people will say, oh my gosh, girl, you know you don't need to lose no 30 more pounds. Yes, I do. Oh, girl, don't lose your hips and butt. I'm here for life. This These, these hips ain't going nowhere. They're just going to be smaller. And I'm here to feel good. I'm here to... I'm here to, to, to be able to walk up a flight of steps and not huff and puff. I'm here to not have to ask my husband to drop me off at the front all the time because I don't want to walk in the parking lot because my ankles are going to be hurt by the time we get on the inside. Am I talking to anybody? It's got to become different than just how we look. It's how do you feel? What do your numbers say when you go to the doctor? Okay. So I've given you three of the seven things I've learned in two months into my health and fitness journey. Number four is, oh, no, I gave you four. Four was having an eating window. Okay. And number five is exercising two times a day. Exercising two times a day might sound like a shock, and it should, because your body needs a shock at this point. Your body needs to be shocked out of what has become the norm for you, what you have made normal. You've made eating late normal. You have made eating whatever you want normal. You have made uh, drinking on a regular basis with all that sugar. Yeah, put a bunch of sugar on the rim of my glass and I'm going just, to just lick the side of it and it's going to go straight into We've made some things normal that should not be normal if you want to live healthier longer, right? If you live to be 90, you don't want the last 30 years of it to be that you can't even walk around on your own. 
You have to get a buggy when you go to the grocery store. Or you have to hold on to someone's arm to walk. There's living and then there's living. And I'm trying to tell you that I, in this process, it has begun, sorry guys, my, my daughter is texting me. It has begun to unfold for me in a different way. I was tired of being fat, y'all. And some of y'all will be like, don't, don't say that. Don't beat yourself up. Listen, I know how I need to talk to me. And maybe you need to talk to you like that too. Maybe you need to get real with what's really going on. Maybe you also need to stop giving yourself a pass. I kept giving myself a pass. Like, I'm going to lose the weight. It's going to be all right. No, it's not going to be all right. It's going to be all right when you take control back of your health and fitness and when you decide. Okay? If you get a bad report when you go to the doctor, if you look in the mirror and you don't like what you see, if you have more clothes in your closet that you can't wear, then you do that you can wear. These are indicators that it's time to make a different decision and do something different. If, like I said, if you're, if you're huffing and puffing when you shouldn't be, sis, you're, you're in your 30s. You're in your 40s. Some of y'all in your 20s. And it's not okay to allow this curse, because that's what it is, to keep taking place. If you need help with this, I highly recommend that you sign up to get on the waiting list for my coach's five-day challenge that she's having. I don't know when the, the challenge is one day next month. I don't even know the date. But I know that the tickets for the challenge go on sale on February 3rd. And the wait list is there now. I don't know how many tickets they're going to sell. I don't have all those details. But if you're serious, go ahead and do that. Okay? Um, Maisha Oliver says she is definitely signing up. It is OptimalHealthChallenge.com. OptimalHealthChallenge.com. All right. So let me give you, I gave you number um, five, exercising two times a day. Y'all, I do. Let me just tell you, I don't like exercising. Can I say that out loud? I can. Look, y'all got me all worked up. I'm getting hot. Let me put my hair up. I'm eating good. My hair's growing like crazy. There's a whole lot of benefits you don't even think about that start to happen. But, um, so... Two times a day, somebody, uh, somebody asks, how long do you work out? I work out two times a day for 45 minutes. 45 minutes. It, and it's got to be cardio, something cardio. Two times a day for 45 minutes. Um, it, it, you have to build a consistency muscle. For me, I don't like working out. Um, I... I'm not going to sit up here and pretend that I am just this, this guru. I'm regular, just like you. I'm not this health and fitness guru. I want to live longer. And I want to enjoy the life and the, the years that I have. And I'm going to be 50 in April. So I'm like, I don't want things to go downhill as you get older. And some of y'all already know that as you're getting older, you don't feel like you did when you were 30. When you, even, even if you, <laughs> this is funny, even if you stub your toe or you hit the coffee table wrong on your leg and you get a bruise, if you do that at 20 and you do that at 40, how many of y'all know it's going to be two different situations? How many of y'all know that bruise doesn't, Go away as fast with the age that you are now. Who's, who's, who's going to be truthful about it? I see y'all. 
So let me give you these last two that I'm going to bring Coach Rowe on. Okay? I'm sharing seven things I've learned in my first two months in my health and fitness journey. I see y'all, yup. That bruise, it's like, oh my gosh, I hit my leg when? And this bruise is still here? Well, I'm about to be 50. I, what I used to do to get the weight off, it doesn't work anymore. I, I had to get help. All right, so number six. Number six was I had to clean out my pantry. I had to buy clean food. And I have to have our nanny cut up our fruits and veggies in advance. I had to make it convenient. Previously, when I would try to lose weight, I would say, I'm not throwing all this good food away. We, I bought this stuff. The good food was cookies. It was potato chips. It was things that we shouldn't be eating. And I'd say, I'm not throwing all this away. That was, that was a lie that I was telling myself. I still had an attachment to it. But when I truly decided, we threw it all away. And my husband is on board too. He's lost like 25 pounds. And he cleaned out the pantry. And it was like, it was like a moment of like, we're doing this. We're not going to go ahead and try to hang on to the, to the, to the food that we have and just and just eat it, not buy it. It was it. That's put. That's a delay. That's I'll start on Monday. No, if you're serious, you'll start right now. You'll start right now. You'll stop eating late now. You won't eat before ten o'clock now. Even though the challenge doesn't start till next month. How about if you started getting your getting your mind right? I work a lot with mindset situations. I work a lot with, with, the, with, with coaches and getting past their mindset blocks. But when I tell you the mindset of getting your health and fitness in order is one of the most difficult mindsets to conquer, that thing is real because it's easier to stay fat. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, y'all. It's easier to stay fat. What's one more steak? What's one more donut? You don't see, you don't eat the donut and then a donut pops out of your arm because you ate a donut. You don't see it. It takes time to gain the weight. But it also takes time to lose the weight. So when, when it's something that you've been doing for so long and you're comfortable in that space, it's, it's hard to undo it when you don't see immediate results by doing it. It takes time. Okay, yes, that compound interest of bad decisions. And when I posted my side-by-side -side before and after this morning, the caption I put on it was very important. And if you haven't seen that side by side, definitely go look at the transformation I've made in the past two months. Still have a good ways to go. I'm not even halfway yet. But, but the caption that I put on it is both pictures when I was bigger and now when I've lost 20 pounds, both of them are a result of consistency. Either way, consistently eating bad consistently eating right. Both of them are a result of consistency. So yes, two times exercise two times a day for 45 minutes, build the consistency muscle. Okay. Cleaned out my pantry, buy clean food, cut up veggies in advance. Number seven that I think that I did, I mean, I could have 50, but I needed to keep it short, right? Um, getting a coach to help me know what I don't know. I have learned so much in being in an environment with Coach Rowe that it has allowed me to see health and fitness differently. And she has this saying that she says, and I just wanna share it with you guys, because I was looking at it like, oh, I'm gonna look good in my clothes. You know, y'all already know I'm a fashionista, don't play. but. 
She had me look at it differently. She says, you don't have to die. <sighs> Y'all, you don't have to die. There's a whole lot of taglines out there, but that one right there is like, seriously, that says it's not about how you look. It's, it, it's about life. It's about life. I don't want to be in my casket and be 200 and something pounds with a Chanel brooch on whatever they put me in. I don't want something that I could change the trajectory of just by the choices I make with food and exercise. I don't want that to be the death of me. God forbid I could be in a car accident and something happened. I'd rather it be something that I was not in control of than to either, you know, have high blood pressure or get a disease of something that I could control. There's so many diseases and such that plague the African American community that are preventable. And that's why I chose to do this live because it has gotten to the point of being pretty sad. It's pretty sad. Now when I go out and I'm in public and I look around, my awareness of the size of people is different. I mean, you see them, but I see differently now. It's like I have on a new pair of glasses that Coach Rowe gave me, metaphorically speaking. And I look around and I'm looking at people. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of people that are overweight, but there's a lot of us, a lot of us that are grossly overweight to the point where we're I see a lot of people that aren't even walking good it's like they're waddling like they're like they're nine months pregnant but they're not it's the choice of food and we get to choose to do something different and, some, and, and on one hand, someone will tell you that it's ex good, good food, healthy food is expensive. But so is the pharmacy. When you have to buy that medication. You get to choose. Yes, Michael, you get to choose. So, didn't mean for the conversation to get this heavy, but I, it is something that I have become very passionate about as I go on this journey that I am not even halfway through yet. I'm, I'm two months in and um, my mind is different. My mind is different. So y'all give me some fireballs down below if you want me to bring my health coach on that has helped me see life different through a different lens in regards to health and fitness. Fireballs in the chat if you want me to bring her on. Yep, and somebody says, so hey Tiff. She says, so is a doctor's appointment in heart surgery. Yes. And some of the things that is costing you to not do it is 
they're they don't have a monetary um attachment to it they're just life okay Y'all got me hot up in here. I think she's coming on. What? Hey! What's up? What's up? Your number one health motivator is in the house. That's right. Yes, it, there it is. is Y'all, she got me. <laughs> What's going on? All right, come in the room. You look. You Thank looking you. great. You looking great, uh, Coach Kelly. Every time I. You know, every time I look at you, I'm, I'm smiling. Like, I'm like, oh, look at my baby. Look at my baby. I love it. So introduce yourself and tell you them what great. you're doing, why you're doing it. Well, uh, I am Rochelle T. Parks. I am your health motivator. Uh, and so, listen, I, I this is what I say. I said, nothing gives me more pleasure than to just help somebody feel better. Like, like every time I see your posts, I mean, I just get, I literally can jump down and do 50 push-ups. Every time I see it, it just, it motivates me. Somebody sent me an email today uh, that said, um, Coach Rowe, thank you. Today marks one year. I'm wow. down 102 pounds. I just got this email today. I, I, I'm down 102 pounds. I mean, you've been great. I mean, they said it's one year since they did my program. And that she was just giving all these testimonies. I was just like, wow. I said, remind me again. When did you do it? I mean, I'm helping so many people. I, I I can't even keep up, but it's like, this is what God has called me to do, Coach Kelly. This is my assignment. This is my assignment. That's why I say, whether you like right. it or not, I really don't care, okay? I really don't. Right. This ain't about you, it ain't even about me. It's about Jesus, right? It's about what God has called me to do. This is, everybody has an assignment, and this is mine, to walk alongside you and help you to achieve optimal health. So whatever you got, I don't care. Diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, obesity, chronic kidney disease, digestive issues, migraine headaches, debilitating Bring menstrual it. cycles. I don't care. Bring, Bring it. it. Okay? No, and she has helped so many people get I'm off of medication in a week. And I'm like, oh my God. I wasn't yeah. on medication, but that just had me like, this stuff must really work. Yeah. It does. It does. And food. We're just working with God's food. So let, let me share something. Now, just new, new discovery, right? So uh, Tiffany brought this to my to my uh, 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 knowledge or whatever, and uh, and I said, wow, this is this is unbelievable. So straight out the Bible, people say, Rochelle, like, why are you so uh, so successful? How are you helping so many people? And this is what I say. I said because God is all in it. Like God is in everything I do. I said I'm with Him. <laughs> he with me. We together. Okay. And so if you with me, if you in the in, in, in the right. rowboat, like you you on a winning team. And so let me tell you, this is okay. what I found. Okay. okay. I'm about yeah, to take it to the Bible for a second. Y'all bear with me, right? I'm a God girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so hold on. Let me let me let me let me pull this up real quick because I just had it. You see, you know how to know this be trying to always trying to trip you up, boy. But I just had it and just as soon as I said it, the screen jumped. So hold on. It's in Genesis. Y'all go to Genesis 2 7, okay? Genesis 2, 7, right? And it said, uh, I want to read this. And the Lord God formed man uh, from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and became a living soul. The breath of life is what it says, okay? So this is what I want to share. It says the breath of life, right? So when, when, you, when you look up God's original definition of life, okay, like as it was in Hebrew, right? Because Hebrew is dealing with the Old Testament. Oh, New Testament, we're talking about Greek. So you go back to the Hebrew definition. You look up life. First thing it what? says, green vegetation. <laughs> oh, wow. first thing it says, Ow. green vegetation. Then it says, uh, then it says wow. fresh water. Ow. Come on, Coach Kelly. Huh? Then it says, uh, uh, like, lively, being yeah. active, like movement, right? Then when you go down a little further, it talks about congregation, wow. community. Right. Is that not what right. This is what I'm all about. So when I say that God is all in it, yes. he's and it all was there in the it, whole time. Okay? It was there the whole time. Can't move. <laughs> the whole time. Yes. Okay? Yes. I said, wow, this is incredible. Genesis 2, 7. Go look it up. And then look up the, uh, 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 the definition of, of, of life. As it was in Hebrew. Go look it up, y'all. I'm telling you, yep. first thing, green vegetation. Your said, green, wow. your green veggies. Huh? What, what, what I tell you? What, what I tell you about them place? What I you say? Need, you need to look, what look. I say? If Adam and Eve don't recognize it, 
Right. Come on. Come on. It needs to be a plant, not made in a plant. <laughs> you see, come see, I'll be listening. I'll be listening. Come on. <laughs> Look, I'm very coachable. I'm very coachable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, so it's just, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised, but yeah. I never was. I knew God was in it. I knew it, but that was just confirmation. Yeah. When she yeah, told me, I, I was like, it. wow, wow. Sis. I'd be like, word for word, green vegetation, fresh water, lively, like being in my movement, congregation. Love it. That's so it. let me ask you a couple of questions. What would you say to someone that is, has been struggling with their weight for years how do they know that this is not just another fad diet? Why should they sign up for your for your wait list for your challenge coming up? I mean, well, Coach Kelly is just is just one example. Like like I have thousands, literally thousands, like thousands, you know. And so I would tell people like you have to you have to recognize the voice. And so I recognize that Coach Row ain't for everybody. For everybody that gets with Coach Row, I ask this question all the time: Why? Like, why? Why? Like, why Coach Row? He said it was just something about you. It was something I couldn't ignore you. It was something about you, and I say, don't ignore that because it ain't mm -hmm. even me. It's the God in me. Like, see, God goes before me. Okay, like, before before I even get God is already done. Like, this is the one. He said, Coach Kelly is the one. Coach Kelly is the one. Okay. Uh, because I didn't tell Kelly, <laughs> right. I didn't ask you about this, right? Coach Kelly asked me, right? So it's, she saw something in me, but I did. I saw something in her too. That you know, and so I'm just saying, like, don't ignore the voice in your head that somebody that he's already telling you this the one. You've been praying, you've been asking God, God right. send me a sign, okay? And look at that. Today exactly. is the day. Today is your day, okay? Coach mm -hmm. Kelly didn't plan this nope. a week ago to do this nope. live. I planned it this okay. morning, literally. I'm like, it. you know what? I put people have been DMing me, asking me questions. I gotta go live about this. I put my two month picture up this morning. I'm like, yeah. today is the day. I'ma just do it today. I planned it an hour ago, literally. But God, but God works together. Like let's say, uh, works together for good for all who love Him, who are called according to His purpose. So you pray. Kelly decided to do this. Coach Rowe jumps on. You see, now we said, Kelly said, the jump in the rowboat. Get on this wait list, okay? Because because the challenge is going down. And so, like, all that you're praying for, uh, all that you have prayed for, and, and you're wondering, like, God, like, do you hear me? He he heard you. Like, now you just have to take action, right? And so, yeah, I just, I just believe, um, like, for those who who – who listen and who are obedient to God's voice, because I know I know what that, that that can cost you a life. Had I not been obedient to God's voice, yes. I could be a widow right now, and you know that, right? So 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 I I am very serious. When God speaks, exactly. I I move right. When He tells me to do something, I, I don't question it. I don't because He knows best, not me. Okay, listen to me. I get myself in trouble a whole lot. Okay, but when I hear Him and He says move, I move because exactly. I know what not moving can cost me. Right? And exactly. so, absolutely. And let me that's, say that's this, how too. You know. I think mm -hmm. the hardest person, in my opinion, for Coach Rowe to reach is the person who is not yet on medication. Like, if you're, if you're on medication or you, you have diabetes and you're doing these, these shots or all the things that come with certain diseases and you want to get out of that situation, <laughs> you have a reason to act. But, and I don't yeah. want to say just overweight, but for the sake of this example, we'll say just. But if you're just overweight, you're just a little bit fluffy, you don't, in your mind, because this was me, I don't have to do something. I can be okay with being fluffy if I want. That I, I can still be as stylish as I am. So I feel like the me's of the world, sorry, my, my dog does not like when somebody passes our house. But the but the people who are, who are like me, they weren't on medication. Their their numbers aren't off the charts. But, but they they know they could lose weight. That's the that's who I want to talk to. Because yeah. just all those people that, yeah. that 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 have diabetes, there was a time before that. Okay, there was a time right before that when they didn't, and then their numbers got pushed over to the edge because. Right over the edge because of the decisions that they kept on making 
which is not taking control of it right. before it got to that point. Right. Yeah. But yeah. Yes. Can I add to that though, Kelly? This is what I would like to say to that. For the person who feels like, like, I don't need this. I'm okay. Okay. I'm a little fluffy, little fun, but I still look good in my clothes. I'm still confident. I'm still killing it in my business. I'm still doing this. Right. You don't feel your best though. Huh? You, 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 you don't feel your best. And so, and here's the deal. Most people don't realize how bad they feel until they start feeling And bad. that was my situation. Say <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here we go. I know she can speak to that. Um, and so for you all that that are in here, you're like, I, I'm, I'm great. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, I'm not on any medication. My weight is, you know, maybe a little high. I can use, I can lose a few pounds, but I still look good in my clothes. My business is thriving. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I promise you, you're yes. leaving a lot on the table still. Okay. And so uh, that, that's what I want to say to those people. Like, don't, don't fall for that okie doke, okay? Don't fall for that and make you think I'm good, okay? Like, I'm good. Ain't nobody, you know, I'm still, I, I'm, I'm, I'm making six figures. I'm making seven figures. My business is this. I'm that. I'm that. I still, I got a stylist. I, I do my that photo shoot. I look me. good. All that. Ah. You, you, you have, have just fallen for the, for the okie doke, okay? Doke. That was me. I'm like, I'm there you successful. Go. Oh, I, I'm that. already married, yeah. so I'm not like I'm in these. These, these dating apps or dating world. I have, you know, everything that I want. I'm seven figures, multiple seven figures. Why do I need to do this? When I tell you, I think with yeah. so much more clarity now, when I tell Come on. you the brain fog has lifted because I'm eating clean. Yes. I mean, when I I yes. tell you, I yes. can sleep through the night now, and I never, I would never sleep through the night. Yeah, it was just it became my norm. To wake up a couple of times in the night. That's right. Because that's just what I, I guess. Right. I'm getting older. This is what it is. So I thought that that was the norm. There's some things that nope. you're doing right now that you normalize. Norm, but when you when you allow your body to reset mm -hmm. with food, God's food, you'll start saying, "Oh my gosh." I did not know how clearly I could think. I did not know how much energy right. I could really have. I didn't know. That's right. That's right. That's right. So we, we have, have normalized, normalized sickness. sickness is what it is. Yeah. It's a, and everybody around you is sick. You're the so majority. You just, you're so the, you're the majority, know. right? So the people like me, you don't even know it. Right? Everybody that walked fall, everybody that fell for the okie doke, okay? We don't even know it, okay? John 10, 10, it says yeah. he comes but to steal, kill, and destroy, okay? But God came, not, not just have life, but have it more abundantly. And so yeah. I'm saying, this is yeah. the abundant life, Kelly. This is the abundant life. When I sleep through the night, every night, okay? I'm talking about waking up in the middle of the night like <laughs> that is unheard of. I did house. not know that. Nope. I, did, I thought but it was normal. Up. No. There's there's no medication here. There's no pain, man. You come to my house, you got a headache, we're going to have to go to the store, okay? <laughs> we don't have no pain medication here. Right. You understand? Okay. This is the abundant life. There are no pains. I can, at 52, I can get up and off the floor. I can run five miles. I can do whatever. I can bench press. I can squat. My knees are good. People that my right. knees are shot. My knees are great. You see? 30 years in the military, I still have great knees. And so I'm like, I don't know what y'all talking about. If you right. if your knees are shot, you shot them. And they can turn okay? it around. You shot them. Put, that's right. And that's the beauty. We can turn it around. That's the way God made these bodies. We, 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 can, we can reverse so all of that. what do they need to do now? They need to jump on this wait list. Okay, look, the, the, the challenge tickets are going live February 3rd. Uh, but they need to get on this wait list so they can be first, right, to be notified when they go live. And I just, you know, I just can't say enough. You know, God has just been blessing. Uh, just, I don't know. I just, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful that he chose me, right? And so I just say, get get in the boat, yes. get in the rowboat, okay? Uh, and let's, let's get this work because it requires work. Like, I'm, this is not something that you, 
I'm saying you just get in here and yeah. do that. No, you have to learn. You have to be willing to change. You have to be coachable. You're supposed yeah. to say I'm coachable. You have to be coachable. You have to submit. I tell people, put, don't come in here with your, with your dukes up. Put your dukes down, okay? I'm on your side. Don't come in here fight me. Don't come in here to prove me wrong. Come in here knowing, right. knowing that you are wrong, okay? Because if you're sick, you're wrong. If you're overweight, you're wrong. If you're on medication, you're wrong. Don't come in here talking about, I'm, I'm going to prove that this right. thing don't work. No, no, no. Come in here saying, I'm wrong, and I know it will work because Coach Kelly and all these thousands of people, it worked for them. And guess what? God is no respect of persons. If he Absolutely. did it for them, and he don't can go surely do it for big you. <laughs> okay? And my mama and my and, no. and Paul Paul and, no. and, and no. No, I've no, never no. seen a you did. intelligence. Y'all need to cut that out. Talk about I'm big bone. Come on, I ain't never seen a fast kelter. Oh, that's good. That's good. I've <laughs> never seen it. But these are the stories that we, that we buy. Oh, yeah, it just runs in my family. Okay, that's right. well, it's got to it, it's gotta stop somewhere. Let it stop. With Let it run out there. Let it, Let it run, out, run with, out with you, with okay? You. Okay. So as we Lord, close Lord, out, Lord, I, wanna, Lord, I want Lord. you to give I'm some excited. word of advice to the people who say, all right, I'm going to go to optimalhealthchallenge.com and I'm going to get on your wait list. I can't wait for the tickets to drop to your five-day challenge. When is the challenge? Give them the challenge date because I didn't know what the date was. It is uh, February, February 27th okay. through awesome, March awesome. 3rd. So get on the wait list, but don't miss it when they drop the challenge tickets. So for somebody that knows they're doing that, should they wait yeah. till the end to start eating right? No. No. I just told you when it said, when, when God said what life was, I said green vegetation, I said water, I said movement. Yeah, because I, I just said it. Cause I just said it. Every time I would go on a diet, including yours, Coach Rose, I would be like, oh, this is, this is the last supper. And that was my mentality. <laughs> that was my mentality. I would eat yeah. all this stuff because I felt like I was yeah. going to be deprived. I felt like I was going to be hungry all the time. Mm -hmm. And that was not the case. But but here's the thing: the reason re the reason people are hungry all the time is because they're they're not eating food that's nutrient dense. I call it I call it air, air pudding. pudding. They're just eating air pudding. Okay, yeah. So you hungry like every two hours because you ain't really doing nothing. Like you ate, but your starves are still they're still starving. Your, I mean your cells are still starving. They're like, what? Okay, what? Like what just happened? <laughs> She moved her mouth, but right. we ain't getting nothing. Like, right. what, what? we're still hungry. And so that's why you're hungry. Yep. But when you eat God's food, come on, when you eat God's food, nutrient this, then you be like, then you have to, then, then, then people start reaching out to me talking about, uh, Coach Roy, I'm not hungry. Is this normal? Right. Then they, they question themselves because they're not hungry. I'm like, well, good Lord. Right, I can't right. Wait. That, okay. that was, that was me. <laughs> you know, I thought I had to eat the last supper. And then you, you, you began to tell me when you eat, food that's that's nutrient dense then you're not hungry as fast after you eat and i'm like i don't know about that because i like to eat and so i would i would literally find myself like not hungry like oh my gosh it's six o'clock and i didn't eat again so i can't but and then you told me but ask yourself are you even really hungry are you eating out of habit right right and i discovered that i'd been eating right. out of habit so sometimes I have one yeah. one meal a day and I'm not hungry. That's all my body needed for that particular day. So you begin to learn yeah. how to listen to what your body actually needs. There is there's gonna be an adjustment because right. you've been doing what you've been doing for so long. So with anything that you've been doing for a, an extended period of time, there's gonna be an adjustment. That's why you have to put yourself in an environment where where your mind is being fed while your while your physical body is making the adjustment to what you are making yeah. your new norm for you your family your next generations and the generations to come after that it's not all about you yeah. it's not all about it's, you oh then you just said that whole mouthful mm. it, you need to change up yeah 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 don't, don't don't get me talking about the generations okay generational health that's a, I know that's a whole nother subject okay don't even talk about what? that I oh, I mean, that, if I mean, martin luther king was 300 pounds he wouldn't have been able to do all that walking he did and he wouldn't have been able Hello. to carry out his mission coach rose no 
Well, what about Harriet Tubman? How many trips do you think she would have made? Okay, if she was three hundred pounds, she'd have been able to make. Exactly. She'd have been out of breath. She'd have been out of breath. Probably wouldn't have made the first one. <laughs> That's right. That's it. You got people that can't walk from their house to the end of the block. Yes. Like I don't know, and, and, and surprised. Like they don't. There's people are surprised. They. They live a sedentary lifestyle, like every day, yeah. like can't, I mean, do nothing. And they're surprised that they don't feel well, surprised that they're sick, surprised that they're right. overweight. Like, right. like what? Right. Are you kidding me? You don't, you don't, you don't work it. You let your Ooh. car sit up for five Ooh, years wait. and you see, go Ooh. try to crank it up and Ooh, see what wait. happens. Go, I mean, really, don't let, go, don't let your, your vehicle that you drive every day, exactly. don't drive it for 10 years. Okay, because that's some of y'all ain't worked out in 10. Go, don't drive it. Let it sit for 10 years in your driveway. Then go out there on 10 years in, in one or, day or and crank it up and see what happens. Put the wrong gas in it. And see how, put how the wrong, runs. wrong gas it's in because it. Because okay? you're eating bad food, you're putting the wrong gas in your temple. Come on. But watch this. Okay, going back to that car, we will we will take more interest in putting the right fuel in our in our vehicle that we do mm, in our own body. Mm, mm. Now we don't make sure we put the right gas in the car we drive, but this vehicle right, right here that we drive around all day, 24-7, yes. we put trash in it. Oh my lord. We don't care. It ain't even 87 octane. It's probably 80 with, octane. Okay? Like, what is As this? black women, oh, I don't put that on my hair. Yeah. <laughs> but what are you eating? But what are yeah. you eating? Yeah. Let's talk about that. McDonald's, Chick Fil A, right? Know, water burger, right. whatever. Right, you spend twenty Popeyes. dollars on having the right shampoo, but you want to spend ninety nine cent on a burger in the drive thru. We're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. We are. We are not gonna talk about it. <laughs> you want you. Want you want to spend, you oh want to spend it's amazing. $125 getting, you, getting your nails done and getting the designs you want on it, but, but it's too expensive to go to Whole Foods. Okay. And don't oh, think about buying organic. Oh, no, that's too much. Oh, the Honey Crisp, the Honey Crisp took, what, three forty nine dollars a pound? They crazy. But you got on some red bottoms. Or, or, or some J's. You done bought some J's. I, look, my daughter, we were at the store. She wanted to get these. Things. They were two hundred and eighty dollars. I said, honey, I can't do it. Two eighty for some. She said, mommy, this is what the people. This is how much they cost. I said, well, okay, we we can't buy them today. Not two eighty. Okay, like what? Right. But that's what people. I know that's what people buy. That's what they buy. That's what they buy for their kids. But they will blow a gasket paying three forty nine right. a pound. Oh, for that's mouth. too much. No, it's, it's your mind. Your mind hasn't made the wow. shift yet. Made the shit. That's right. Oh, well, why should organic cost more? Because there's more people not eating organic, so they have to pull out certain certain ones to. It's a smaller yeah. amount of people, so they have to treat it special to not get the pesticides on. That's, it should that's be right. the opposite. But that's it's right. Not. That's right. That's right. But 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 here's the thing, though. Like nobody, nobody would see themselves as less than. Like, like, it would ask about yourself, like the value of you. Yes. You're priceless. So when people say that costs too much, I'm like, but you're worth it. Do you understand? Right. You are worth it. You're priceless. You're pri priceless. And so right. we, we don't even make the connection that you're saying, I'm not worth spending $349 a pound on some apples. That's what you're saying. I'm not worth it. My, my husband, not my wife's not worth it. My kids not worth it. My, my, nobody's worth it. Me spending that much on some ground beef, organic, and it's twenty five dollars for this for this three pack versus ten dollars for this three pack. Nobody, but, but, they're but not let, worth it. I'm not spending that much. Singer come to town no, their health is not worth it. Then what? At the, the front of the line, right? At the front of the line. Okay, and first one. Not to eat. It's all. all That's right. It's You're all perspective yeah all right y'all yeah y'all yeah, follow yeah. Coach that's Bro. it so. uh she's in the grocery store with the camera crew i keep telling her we're gonna get you 
The Sandman <laughs> is gonna come from the side and get you. So that's what you should do. Uh, what you they can don't do be up in there now and 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 uh, get on the wait list. Number one, get on the wait list today, not tomorrow. Get on the yeah. wait list right yeah. now after this live is over. When her tickets drop on February third, go ahead and get your ticket. And between February third and then the end of the month when the challenge starts go ahead and start getting your mind right but follow her as well on her page because she gives tips every day here and there on on what you should eat common stuff that sometimes we think is good until you turn the package around and see what yeah. it really says so and she even has a youtube channel go ahead and get yourself indoctrinated in her world so you show up to the challenge with your dukes down not what you do up. Okay. What's your YouTube? Rochelle T. Park. Rochelle T. Park. All the way together. Y'all can get in the rowboat or you can keep doing what you're doing. Let's, all right. All right. Thanks, let's Rochelle. Go. All right. See you guys. Bye. Thank you. Love you guys.